Hi Capricorn, I'm uh, wishing you a super holiday season. Uh, it's almost over, but we haven't yet crossed into 2023. <laughs> We're here to do a Celtic cross um, for the very few last days of 2022. Uh, the cards will definitely give us maybe um, a glimpse of what you've recently experienced and what is yet to come, right? But first we're gonna draw a Creativity Oracle card. We're gonna get some words of wisdom for you. probably saying to yourself or to the camera right now go ahead just pull <laughs> let me pull I heard you <laughs> okay so what do we have the pitch <laughs> be as clear concise and professional as you can be when you explain your ideas to potential associates. <laughs> That's amazing. What are you working on? What is happening? So let's do the Celtic cross with the tarot. Okay, when you start with the Ten of Swords, I'm going to draw the rest. I didn't, um, <laughs> as much as I wanted to pop out before, um, it didn't happen. And now, um, anyways, so Ten of Swords as your overall energy. Crossing that is the Eight of Rods, Eight of Wands. Crowning you is the Three of Cups. Your foundation is the Five of Swords. In the recent past, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. In your near future, you have the star. In your power, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. You have the Two of Swords in your environment. Your hopes and fears, we find the Six of Pentacles. And the outcome is the Six of Wands in reverse. There's a... Okay. It's a really strange energy because we don't have the judgment. But when I see the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Wands crossing it, um, the challenge of this ending, because it's, it's not just your challenge, it's the challenge of a particular ending you've gone through, Capricorn, that is the challenge is not to open lines of communication maybe uh, I can see that you've had a hard time letting it go already you've had some arguments whatever that was right it could be within a relationship of course a love relationship a friendship a partnership a family thing a business whatever yet you deeply deeply wish for a reunion it's what you hope for. I mean, it's everything you you ever wanted. It, it seems that all your energy is focused on that particular meeting. 
it feels like a meeting it feels like maybe this is the moment where you pitch uh, basically is where you get to spill the beans or you get to communicate like i mean extensively here like there's almost like one thing to say per sword that was planted. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be a lot of things to unpack, whatever that is. And it could pertain as well to like some of the conflict that was uh, going on because I think that that played out literally. Not sure if it was just a battle of um, ideas and words and or was it really like within the context of you know something that was at stake uh, I don't know uh, it's not clear here that's it'll be different for every one of you you know there was a stalemate for a long time there was a um, either denial, there was also the I mean it's really interesting we have the six of pentacles and the hopes and fears, right? but this is perfect balance and the two of swords is a stalemate so although the six of pentacles is not really a stalemate energy for me here, this it gets emphasized um the stalemate is emphasized because of the Six of Pentacles. Because something was on neutral. Something is so... Um, it doesn't... It, it's hard to decide if, if it's not yes versus no, right? Like, oh, advantages, disadvantages. Okay, the choice is clear. So it gives us here the impression that for the longest time, things were like... stale or not stale stuck or frozen like frozen in time all the while i believe that there was a lot of thinking i know this is uh pentacles right it's not necessarily swords but it, I do, I'm working with these two cards together. I think there's, there was a lot of pondering. There was a lot of reminiscing and really thinking things through. Almost like wanting to give yourself the insight, wanting to give yourself the... I guess a different perspective on the same thing, you know, like not even just the hindsight, also like, okay, let me change angles here. Let me put myself in this person's shoes or let me look at the problem in a different light, right? All of these analogies, because I don't know if it's a person, a, a, like a relationship, a situation, an event, a job, I don't know. The outcome is the six of rods in reverse. So I'm not willing to tell you that this would not work out. I think that what doesn't work in this equation is too much pride. So there's a lot of pride on the six of wands, six of rods, especially upright. Some of it is very healthy pride, but it could also be some narcissism. It could be, I rarely use that word. If you know my readings, I, I don't think I've said it like more than, not even, not even on one hand. I can't even... So it's very, very, very rare that I use that word. But it does, um, it's a, 
it's an energy that belongs sometimes I read it as such on the six of wands right so anyways in this case the card is in reverse what would be uh, difficult would be to have too much pride in wanting to talk things through I'm saying this because we really do have the pitch that is, you know, sort of supporting that theory, right? It's important that I mention that. But there's a very specific, um, you want a, an opportunity. You are looking for a sit down you were looking for a conversation or you're looking for you know a moment where you can really open up talk about i think you want to talk about things that didn't work out but you also want to propose avenues for the future for things that are looking bright with the star with you know having a very positive outlook wanting uh, things to be Wanting to align, basically, right? It's interesting because I told you, you know, there would be one rod for each uh, sword. It's, it's not a perfect match. But there's also an alignment with, you know, how much stress uh, falls to the wayside. Uh, the more you get to express the more, hopefully, when you do, I think you will, but I'm just saying you, you're you really, right now, it's, you want this opportunity. I think you will have it. Um, I hope so. If you don't, um, I can tell you, pride will have been in the way. It could be that you don't want to, look um whatever your motivations are i'm gonna list a few it doesn't have to be those but it could be that you feel it's gonna diminish you it could be that you feel you were right they were wrong you don't want to have the conversation it could be anything really but you know what i mean like so not allowing for an a, a space where um there can be a conversation um, because there's definitely some things that need to be said about prior struggles or conflicts. Definitely a harsh ending or at least some wrongdoing, uh, whether it was like absolute, you know, like, um, <laughs> something that morally you can say oh my god that was so bad but I don't think that's the case I think it's it's more a matter of just it it didn't sit right with whoever right anyways the other thing that makes me say that there's a possibility and a strong one that you will sit down and have the conversation is we do have the support of the other six um, so there is right now a stalemate that is clear. Uh, there's a possibility for balance, for things to be fair <laughs> or made right. So that also bleeds into the six of, of wands, right? So the approach cannot be pompous uh you have to stay really humble uh, the idea here is to also even stay humble at the possibility uh, that you want this that is something that inspires you to be a better person right that uh, you wish to share your ideas for the greater good, because this is what the star indicates. Um, you want to restore harmony, happiness, uh, that's important. 
So there's, there's truly a possibility, but you are being cautioned uh, about coming at it with, you know, either a little bit of arrogance or um, maybe even control, like this is how it's gonna be. And, you know, like, just go with the flow of this, you know, just, um, You know, when the Six of Wands is upright, you have to imagine uh, these people as they walk in, right? They walk back to the castle, to the village, wherever they go, that they're being acclaimed, they're being welcomed back. Uh, from wherever they went, they're being welcomed back. So there is a beautiful flow uh, on this card when it's upright about I guess the focus is the word welcome, right? So this sort of allowing and um, welcoming is also as the idea that it's something that you want. It's really a desire. It's something that you aspire to. So because the card is in reverse here, it's it's telling you not to be controlling about that just allow this um, energy allow the words to flow when it's time you know and yet there's um you know be concise clear concise professional Which is funny because let's say it's not necessarily a business um, meeting, right? And a real sales pitch, for instance. Let's say it's more of a personal thing. Then being clear, concise, and professional uh, turns into, you know, avoid the blame games, um, be truthful, of course, um, but also don't digress, you know, don't necessarily uh, go too much in detail about you did this, you did that, or, you know, the important thing is, um, I guess, the feelings. expressing feelings I think is is really important because there are no cups except for that three I mean there's the eight of cups in reverse right and there's the three of cups but they're not um love cards per se right so because it's missing um it needs to happen I guess you know what I mean being present by absence. <laughs> I'm going to close the reading here. I hope something resonated in here for you. Um, if it did, please like the video, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you next year. I will be doing yearly readings. They will be longer, but there are a lot of... Um, I've done I've done them last year and I I don't mean to brag but I've listened back to um, a couple of them for myself <laughs> and I was quite surprised so not to say that I am necessarily always right it was just really interesting to uh, especially after the midpoint of the year to look back uh, on a yearly reading it was really interesting to to take the look um, on past on the on. Anyways, <laughs> I'm digressing big time. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. Good night.